This is the new Metabones EF to E mount adapter, except it does more than just that. It's called the Speed Booster, and you can see by this piece of glass that it's not your ordinary lens adapter, which is the most boring thing I've ever said. Basically what it does is it takes your EF lenses and makes them wider and faster. A 50 millimeter 1.4 becomes a 35.1. It doesn't seem like it would make too much sense, but it's a thing called a focal reducer, which is this piece of glass. Um, it all checks out and it looks great and I've done some tests. I understand that the marketing here is a speed booster element and that's fantastic and very valuable. But what I really appreciate is the field of view change and the MTF change. So we've got a sharper image and now my 50 millimeter looks more like a 50 millimeter on my 5D. This adapter should be out January 2013, and I've heard it'll run for about $600, which makes sense because the other model costs $400, and you're getting a speed booster, field of view changer, sharper image. I mean, for $600, it's worth it. I'd recommend to any FS100 user that has EF lenses, uh, especially ones that aren't manual, to absolutely have this in your kit. And if you've got the money, get this as well because this is gonna give you a whole new set of lenses, which is really gonna help out. The build is almost the same as the previous model, which is great. It's a little bit heavier, as I said. There's a cover on the proprietary port for the firmware upgrade, it looks like. The wide open preview is a tiny bit smaller. Um, the trigger release, very similar. The only real difference you'll see is that the speed booster is actually smaller than the EF to E mount adapter. And that's because of the focal reducer. And because the flange distance on the FS100 is 18 millimeters, you can get away with something like this. That's why this is somewhat revolutionary, I guess, because we really haven't seen this implemented before. Uh, Metabones is gonna make a lot of money off of this, and I really hope they implement it on other cameras. 